people say machines can't have feelings. And people are curiously confident about that. I have no idea why. Suppose I make a battle robot. And it's a little battle robot. And it sees a big battle robot that's much more powerful than it. It would be really useful if it got scared. Mm. Now, when I get scared, um, various physiological things happen that we don't need to go into. And those won't happen with the robot. But all the cognitive things, like I better get the hell out of here, mm. and I better sort of change my way of thinking so I focus and focus and focus and don't get distracted, all of that will happen with robots too. People will build in things so that they, when the circumstances are such they should get the hell out of there, they get scared and run away. They'll have emotions then. They won't have the physiological aspects, but they will have all the cognitive aspects. And I think it would be odd to say they're just simulating emotions. No, they're really having those emotions. The little robot got scared and ran away. It's not running away because of adrenaline. It's running away because of a sequence of sort of neurological, in its neural net, processes happened. Yeah, which which meant... have the equivalent effect to adrenaline. So do you, do you And think... it's not just adrenaline, right? There's a lot of cognitive stuff goes on when you get scared. Yeah. So do you think that there is conscious AI... And when I say conscious, I mean that represents the same properties of consciousness that a human has. There's two issues here. There's a sort of empirical one and a philosophical one. I don't think there's anything in principle that stops machines from being conscious. I'll give you a little demonstration of that before we carry on. Mm -hmm. Suppose I take your brain and I take one brain cell in your brain, 